here to talk to you about why we do the things that we do. So, I'm going to blow your mind, right? I'm going to posit that most of us, or some of us, or maybe even all of us, we don't completely understand why we do what we do. We just jump right in, we do it because that's how it's been done, that's how it's always been done, and that's how it will forever be done. And that doesn't really help us. So, let me tell you a story. So, your system's crashing, you're like, oh my god, the system is crashing, I have no idea what's going on, I know what we need, we need logging, monitoring, that's going to go ahead and solve it. So, three weeks and two Amazon orders later, you're now watching that system crash in glorious 4K goodness. <laughs> what went wrong? Why didn't this work? What's happening? So the problem is you only saw the results of success. You didn't really understand what truly went into making a successful system because you saw the top piece. And success is just like the picture of this iceberg. Remember, these things are not success. These things were developed by somebody, some company, at some time, at some point to solve a specific problem for them, right? That wasn't success. You are unique, right? Your solution is going to be different from everybody else's solution, right? You do what works for you, not what somebody else did. Don't cargo cult. That's bad. So, what do we do now? You're like, oh man, I was just spinning up Kubernetes. I don't even know what it does. I can't spell it, but I know I gotta use it. So, well, what do I do now, right? All right, so what you're gonna do, you gotta know your context, know your users, know your problems, understand the solution, what was tried before, you know, what failed, what else happened at your company. Most organizations have a whole bunch of groups doing a whole bunch of different things. Chances are you're not unique. Learn some history. Why is this thus? What is the reason for this thusness? Every line of code was written by somebody with good intentions. So, Understand what's going on. Why is it the way it is? What happened? Forget the tech. Forget all the solutions. What does success look like, right? Is it about people? Is it about something being automated? Is it about saving the world, going to Mars? Just what do you want that end result to look like? So why not just jump right in and solution it? Yeah, I'm going to build it. I'm, you know, whatever you want to do. Why not just do that, right? Well, there's good reason to just kind of take, sit back, take a deep breath, and really understand what's going on. First, you've got to develop some empathy. Develop empathy for your users, develop empathy for the problem, develop empathy for yourself. Really feel the pain so that way you really understand what's truly needed to solve the problem. Right? You don't want to waste time and money. All that stuff is expensive. You know, it's just... Nobody's going to be happy. Your boss won't be happy. Your company won't be happy. Nobody will be happy if you waste a bunch of time and money on implementing some solution. And you also don't want to build or implement the wrong thing. Yeah, right? What the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you just don't want to do the wrong thing because once again, that's just as bad as wasting time and money, right? It just doesn't make anybody happy. So the long and short of it is don't get trapped in solution mode. Don't be a zombie. Think understand what's out there, and, you know, to try to do the right thing by getting some empathy and really understanding your problem. Um, empathy. Seek to understand, right? If you understand what you're doing, you, what, what, what's the saying? Um, measure twice, cut once, right? That's best for everybody. Understand the foundation. Read some foundational papers for the technology or process you're trying to implement. You know, read the Google papers, read the Agile Manifesto, understand what you're doing. And remember, my cat's watching you, that's her judgy face. So, whatever you do, think about it, just think about the future, uh, think about what you want the end state to be, and not the technology implementation, and that's me, and that's my cat when she's pissed off with lasers. Uh, you can find me at those places. Thank you very much.